unpronounceable and unspellable <laughs> last name. <laughs> how do you pronounce it again? Rory, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> she actually knew all the time. But it took me about a year to figure out how to spell it reliably. Um, so we invited, of course, by David to uh, Ramirez Canyon to the Spriceham property and had a nice spread, lunch, whole thing. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm still to this day a little bit awed by the National Park Service, you know, Yosemite, Grand Canyon, the whole thing, the whole history of everything. Um, so we tried to put on, my dad said, put on the dog for, uh, for David. We had a beautiful spread. And I knew what I wanted to say, and I knew how I wanted to impress him, and all of this. And at the end of the, uh, you know, hour and a half lunch or so, uh, I hadn't said very much, but uh, neither really had David said very much. It was. <laughs> and at the end of that lunch, we all were very happy, weren't we? And I said to myself, I had just been charmed by this guy. Uh, yeah, that's what he did. And that is the history of his tenure in the Santa Monica Mountains. He charmed everybody. Okay, absolutely. The word charm was made for David. And I have to say, as someone who has uh, at various times, maybe overemphasized the role I have in Washington or Sacramento or wherever. I've got to say that this is a gentleman who, if you were to look at his record, you'd say, but he was here and here and here, and then the Park Service did this and this and this while he was there, and you'll say, oh, you know, there's really no relationship between where I was and what happened. And, no, I, you know, I, I made I made friends where I had gone. I tried to make friends. How many of you have heard? So you know, I, I I've made friends. Yeah, good. Uh, and you know, I mean, in this in this day and age, you know, I looked up this thing on on uh, Bolt Blue. Uh, he made friends without ever making a single contribution. <laughs> Not that that's ever required. <laughs> so I, I asked uh, Rory, I said, you know, let's, let's try to sum up uh, what the most important thing to say about David's contribution. And we both concluded that we will all be measured by the fact that we have provided all of us here, but the leadership of the National Park Service provided not only the largest wildlife connection, but probably the most significant. Probably the most significant. Because this would have been an island, and there's no other way of dealing with an influx of genetic material unless you get those genes across the goddamn freeway. <laughs> and the Park Service, under your leadership, led the way in making that happen. And so on behalf of all of P-22's progenitors, which he doesn't have any friends, unfortunately. Uh, we've preserved, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you did, good for you. Good for you. Uh, I want to just say, and let's give a hand to David for what he's done.